Leonard has lived on his own since his mother's death 23 years ago. He's unable to officially work because he suffers from angina and is registered as disabled. But he remains active by participating in numerous charity events and, of course, doing his paper round. How do you feel about tonight? Oh, it's fantastic. I've not slept. I've, I've, I've a million and more things to do. I don't know, I'm got fitted all in. I can't believe it, me getting an award. I've never won anything before. Oh, I tell a line, close one eye. I once won a paper number set, but the blue was missing. Ships. And I once won a CB radio, it's here. For muscular dystrophy. Here. 10-4, ten 10-4, four, ten four, good buddy, eyeball. This is Bernie's board, you copy, over. We've got a convoy, hey? <laughs> Needs an aerial. Do you ever get lonely? No, never, never. Now, I've lots of friends, you see. I think if you've got lots of friends, the loneliness never, sh sorry, loneliness never shows its face. I tried it once for about half an hour, but I kept laughing. Are you funny nun? She boxes for God. She's like another. Jab, sister, jab, jab. I don't just deliver my papers, I deliver the good news of the Lord as well. I've always been a believer in something higher and divine. God's been good to me, but not just to me, to us all. He gave us the greatest gift, the gift of life. And we should live it to the max. Every day is a blessing, every day is a gift. Life's an adventure. But people, they get so busy living their lives that they forget that he's there for them. That's why I spread his good news. One God and one love. Let's get together and feel all right. Bob Marley. Hey, how does Bob Marley like his donuts? We're jamming, we're jamming, get it? Are you having that one? <laughs> you all right, cockers? How you doodling, all right? Lovely now, brighter, isn't it? Never been on television before. I'm getting an award tonight, that's why they were me, for being the oldest paper boy, to, well, paper man in, in the country, yeah? I might do your papers, you might have read about me. Do you believe? I do. I found God in Fleetwood in 1970. Yeah, I became a Christian. Oh, stay away from the road. Oh. Bless kids. I used to be one. Don't cry, it's all right, don't cry. It's okay. What's, what's his name? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not doubting Thomas. Don't cry, I've got a joke for you. Little lad says to his granddad, will you make a noise like a frog? His granddad said, why? He said, because my dad said, when you croak, we're going to Florida. Are you having that one? Yeah, you're going to lift up here, are you? No. Oh, you're all right. Oh. You're all right. Up you go, little fella. You go. Hey, get off of me, you dick. It amazes me how people can get bored with it. My mum used to say, how can you get bored with life when you don't know what's coming next? It's true. The thing I, the thing I love most about doing my papers is the different people I see, you know, so many. I share the troubles and the happy times. I watch the children grow up and get married and move on. I, I think it's fascinating. Why? He said, because my dad says when you croak, we're going to Florida. Croak? I got your diabetic chocolate oh, for you there. Very yeah. much, it might have melted a bit in my sack. Never mind, love. Hey, like you could go Yeah, well, like, you yeah, don't know, dear, what it's going to be like. It's raining and no, then it's sunshine. No, I know this weather, Leonard. It can't make its mind up. No. I blame NASA. Well? Hey, are you all set for tonight? I am, yeah. Good. I've got a million and one things to do. Oh. I, I best get a wriggle on. All right, Mrs. Bob. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Best. Thanks for Try bringing coffee. these for us, Leonard. Charlotte. Hey, is that Turkey George? Oh, he that's Turkey George. Hey, he's all right. Do you know him? He's all right, Kate, to him. That's Turkey He drives a big flash car. There's his car. He has a boot full of turkeys. Hi, uh, he's at Fort Market on Tuesdays and Charlie Market on Thursdays. Boot filled, he sells them. God has been witness. Turkeys going cheap. That's his motto. Going cheap turkeys. Hey, he's, he's all right, man. All right. Yeah, not bad. It's not him. It's not in. He calls at Harry Haroon's newsagents, the pick-up point for his afternoon yeah, round. You all right? Ooh, these are heavy. Yeah, the bastard just stuck a Tandy catalogue in this week. Has someone got your car, Leonard? No, it's being mended, but I've got my trusted trolley, so it right. shouldn't take me long. All right, then. All right, hope long. God bless. Right, See ya. Who want to be ya? <laughs> oh, yeah, man, it's Leonard, really. I mean, he's harmless enough. Just a bit eccentric, really. He's done the papers around here for years, you know. He used to do them with his mum, Bernie. <laughs> she was a bugger. She'd never let him go anywhere on his own, you know. I can see him today. 
doing his paper round in all weathers, pushing his huge pram round. Now, it's good he's getting some sort of award, you know. I mean, half the women round here would be lost without it. What do you mean? Well, they've been running errands, left, right and bloody centre. They've been painting, shopping, up ladders, down spouts. One woman, last summer, had him lagging all her tanks. It takes him three hours to do his bloody paper round. Hey, you got any poppers? Are you blind? I'm filming. Huh? Try them there, pure gold. Blow your tits off. No, at least Leonard's honest, you know. Uh, half the lads dump their papers in the canal, you know. Right, I'll have these then, that twix. Will you shift? With only a few hours to go until the start of the awards, Leonard makes a special visit to mobile hairdresser and longtime family friend, Jackie Busher. Hiya, cockers. Ready for your four o'clock? Well, I was at four o'clock. It's quarter to five now. Come in. Hey. <laughs> hey, that dog's back. Hey. This is me auntie Jackie. Say hello, Jackie. Hello. <laughs> oh, what are we having for dinner? You, on a butter. <laughs> Right, what are you having, handsome? Some highlights? Streaks? Streaks? What will my girlfriend say? <laughs> <laughs> you probably killed them all. <laughs> you didn't like me, Mum. You didn't like her. Mum used to say she had a bad time with me. Said she was in labour for 36 hours and then nurse noticed they hadn't taken the tights off. <laughs> that's, that's not a joke, that's true. Yeah. I know people think I'm odd, you know. But I'm not I think everybody's odd. You, what hand you out your bum with you? Go on, what hand you out your bum with? My left hand. Ah, you see I use toilet paper, eh? Hey, who's who's, who's odd now? You are odd. We're reaching the end of the ceremony. It's nearly time for Leonard to step up and receive his award. Now we come to the final award of this prestigious evening. The Graham Whitehead Award for Achievement in the Bolton Community. A very special award this year, someone who's touched all our hearts over the years and our letterboxes. And here to present the award, very special guest indeed. They've just ushered us their guests. They've just hot-footed it across from the current production of Oliver. Please welcome TV's on, Bob Carroll G's and Spit the Dog. Thank you. It's an honour, an honour and a privilege to be here at your award ceremony, isn't it, Spit? <laughs> so without further ado, I'm going to present an award to a man whose recognition is long overdue. Not unlike some of his newspapers. <laughs> so, the 1999 Graham Whitehead Award for Achievement in the Bolton Community goes to Leonard de Tonkinson. Come on, Leonard. Yes. Congratulations, Leonard. Well done. <laughs> no wonder the dice go for you. Something like that, Leonard. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a very fine French brothel. No, he didn't like a brothel. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't know flares of Kamaki de fashion? That's a lovely, that's a lovely tailored demob suit. No, he didn't. Uh, what hand, what I hand you out your bum with? Huh. You want to say a few words, Leonard? Um, uh, I don't know what to say, mate. Little, little lad says to his granddad, will you make a noise like a frog? His granddad said, why? Wow. I rang a takeaway last night. I said, do you deliver? They said, no, we do lamb, chicken and fish. <laughs> Bang, phone down. <laughs> now we've started, now we've started. 